So if we go down, if for some reason scaffolding's always at the bottom. It's really annoying. It's quite frustrating. Uh, well, not really. It's just the fact that that's at the bottom, but then when you go to uh, build, they're right next to each other. I don't know why that's the case. It's a bit weird. It's probably like some super, super scientific reason for it. Even though I can't imagine there would be. That wouldn't make, that just would. Why? Why would you do that to me? Why would you make a super scientific reason for it? What did I do to you? Uh, these towers are going to be built later on. They're going to be bigger. They're going to be the same size as the um, big towers that you can see here. At least I feel like they should be. And we're just doing this side. We're not going to do this wall yet. We just want to get this one done, leveled up. Uh, put some wood flooring down. The wood flooring is not going to be logs. And I feel like it needs to be wood flooring just to sort of define it. Um, like, this was wrong, to be honest, making this stone. I kind of want to get rid of it and turn it into wood. Because I feel like that would... Uh, it just looks cooler. I, I like my contrast. This is why the series goes on way too long. Whereas other people get their series done in, like, 30 episodes. Because the goal for them... The goal for me is to make a beautiful looking town and have everyone survive. Um, I imagine that's everyone's goal. That's, that's kind of game you're playing, you know? That's what you're doing. Um, but I imagine that's probably not the case. Right, so some scaffolding. We'll get uh, one there, two there, and then three here. Cause we only need three because it only goes four up. There we are. They can actually build pretty high now that I look at it, but we need them to actually get up there. So that's why we're doing it like that. Um, loads of fishermen sleeping, 404 food, and we have a chicken. Look at him. He's adorable. Do we have another chicken, though? That is the ultimate question. I'm pretty sure there was another chicken lying around here somewhere. Oh, crap. There's a wolf there. Take him out. Where are our, where's our soldiers? There we go. Um, oh, wow. This is your first one-on-one. -on -one. This could actually go very badly. Oh, and I just saw um, Hood. There we go. Hood, I need to change your name, Hood. Hood the hero. We've already got hero though. The hero though. Hero though. Lol lol lol. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I hope you got that reference. Anyway, that is a that's a very old reference. Wow. It's too bad the remake was um, not great. Well, the the re-release, as it were, the, like remastered edition of that game was not. Well, the thing is, when I say was not, I mean the game wasn't exactly well put together in the first place. It's just that you expect more. Um, anyway, it, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. It's a different game. You can find out if you know the reference. Just go, just put lol lol, lol in and you'll get the reference. Well you, well, you only get the reference if you played the game. Uh, <laughs> why am I so mysterious about this? I don't know why. There's no reason for it. Merv, why? You just bit my ear. Ow. Ow. Go away. Why do you do this to me? Well, you do nothing, but still, still, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame you for something, definitely. Right, is that another wolf over there? I feel like if it was, it probably would have killed the uh, thingamajigs a little while back. Come on, there's gotta be a chicken lying around somewhere that I can grab quickly. I need to start like making these chickens, you know, do things. <laughs> wow, I need to make these chickens do things. Apparently, I wonder how quickly I run out of wheat with one chicken. I'm just gonna wait. Uh, I'm just gonna wait until there's one chicken left. I could herd those boars, because that's a good uh, food source and we might be able to get some leather from them. That's not a bad idea, actually. Get some leather. That would uh, be pretty great. I mean, it would make more use of the herder anyway. You can actually do something. There is a stonemason here not doing anything, which means they're probably, yeah, they've done all of their thing. Uh, what we'll do, actually, is we'll turn all the stonemasons into carpenters, because we need them to do more than just stonemasoning anyway. Of course, making them do just do stone mason is pretty great. Um, is that builder? Okay, he's getting a tool by the looks of it. Uh, the carpenter. Is Lay's already a carpenter? Oh, wow. We really need that cotton. We really do. Because people are just sleeping on the floor in that lot. It's not great. That's why our... Wow, where are all of our stone masons? There we go. There's one. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> we need to get rid of these two random logs just lying there. Uh, they look a bit like crates, though. I won't lie. They do look pretty unique in that respect. But the thing is, I can make proper crates, so there's not really much merit for that. Uh, let's go to crafting. Wait, is it crafting? No, it's not. It's building. Yes, there we go. We'll make... Hmm. See, now this is the other question. Do we want to make light wood for the flooring? And then the dark wood will be used in buildings. I feel like light wood for the flooring and dark wood is for the proper buildings. There we go. That... that... Already done. I don't have to think about that anymore. 
Uh, we're going to need a few of these. Oh, we'll make 100 from that. That's fine. So there you go. Everyone will be uh, at work doing the... Oh, a trader! Oh, wow. Beautiful. Okay, Islay, where are you? It's a good thing I looked at you um, before, so I knew exactly where you were. So you could be a trader. Level 7 trader. Okay. Mm, come on. Give us some good stuff. I'm ready. Not really. I'm not ready. <laughs> we're not going to build this by the... But at the, at the rate I'm going, we're not going to be able to build this barracks. It's going to take too long. Still, though, I feel safe. I feel pretty good. You know, production's underway. A lot is happening right now. We just got a trader who is going to offer us 5,000 cotton. Or maybe even just four uh, silk beds, cloth beds even. That'd be pretty great as well, actually. Um, but yeah. So let's see. Uh, the merchant is willing to give you four coal in exchange for one silver ringer. Yeah, sure, why not? Silver's nothing to me. It is a currency. I will take anything. Because I, I can't do anything with silver. I, I don't think I can, anyway. Hmm. Come on. Goodies. Super speed mode. Bing ring. Talk more. The merchant wouldn't give you six dirt in exchange for six wood logs. See, now this is funny because dirt's pretty great. And wood grows back, but dirt doesn't. Okay? Do you see my logic? I see my logic. Dirt doesn't grow back, and we only have a limited number. Well, actually, we don't. Well, we do, because there's only one layer of dirt. And if we get rid of dirt, we reveal stone, which makes the land look ugly. I'm worried one of the few people that would actually accept that deal. <laughs> I can't believe I just accepted that deal. It's not really that great, but the thing is, dirt makes the land look great until you remove it and then it looks like stone makes it look ugly <laughs> and dirt's pretty great because you need it to make stone and that lot so uh, level 8 trader good to know good to know i'm not just sure how well that really improves your deal making if it does at all uh, i have no idea i mean you've had four deals in the past uh oh, free iron ingots in exchange for 12 food yes i'll do that any day sir um unless he gave unless i gave him free iron ingots <laughs> Ooh, no no that's good i got nine iron ingots i didn't know that nice that's pretty great. Uh, that's a good point, actually. Are we running out of tools? Stone hammers. Uh, oh, wow. Is going to give you two bronze ingots in exchange for one silver? Yep, any day. These are good guild guilds. These are good uh, deals, Islay. Good, good job. Good job. Uh, and this wall is underway. It's good to see. Uh, some of these builders are asleep, I think. Yep, one of them just woke up. And the trader is gone. Good seeing you, trader. That was a uh, very good, good business, as it were. Uh, back to doing some carpentry, Islay. I want you to get all this wood done. And then I want you to create a bunch of the darker wood with 50 logs. And that is sort of the next big step, as it were. And this this wall is underway. Uh, we're we're going to do the first layer sort of properly. Because um, that would make sense. Um, but then we're going to do the second layer sort of in a different way. Uh, but we will do that later. The definition on the walls is something of an afterthought for now. At least we know we're safe. You know, that's sort of the main part at the moment. I like this idea, though. This is pretty cool looking. I like it. It's going to be a cool tower in the middle. Probably a nice flag on the peak of the roof. Because I feel like these towers are going to have roofs. Whereas these ones don't. Actually, I can't remember what my idea were for these smaller towers. They were definitely an idea. There was definitely an idea for them, as it, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, and they were an idea. Okay, there's, there's no question about that. Fantastic, though. It's looking great. Um, if you get that part built, that'd be even better. Because uh, you're taking a long time. I'm not too sure why. It shouldn't uh, really take you that long to build that kind of stuff. They, they get wood done very quickly. That's fantastic. Of course, they fail it. They fail quite a lot, which is the not fantastic part about the uh, transaction there. But, oh well. Um, oh, I think I forgot if it was the video before or this video. I, I can't remember, but um, someone commented on one of the videos... A little while back saying uh, that I don't make steel uh, I can't remember your name apologies um, but yeah I pretty much explained the reason why I don't make steel <laughs> uh, well, the reason I don't make steel is because the six there's a success rate and even though the success rate I think is in my favor I still tend to lose <laughs> which is a bit annoying um, I should really get around to making steel deposits because it increases production tenfold but I'm not <laughs> I'm not, because I'm too scared. I will do it, though. Don't you worry. I will get round to it when I feel 
sort of safer to do so. But we have loads of iron, and iron tools are mostly a guarantee at the moment because it is laser really, really good blacksmith. Whereas you've got to then pass to make the steel to make the pickaxe, and then you've got to pass to actually make the pickaxe, um, which I think has a lower percent chance uh, to sort of get um, to be um, built. And I think the chance there's a chance of you losing or recovering the materials, but I'm not too sure what percentages they really are. Um, yeah, so th that's great. That's fine. That is uh, that is absolutely fine. Uh, the wheat I think is actually running out quicker than we actually store it, which is pretty good, I suppose, but not really. Uh, we would need a little bit more wheat. I'm not just sure what the um, ratio. I, I imagine there's some sort of like per chicken you need five tiles of wheat or something like that. I'm not too sure. There probably is something like that around here. Would be pretty cool if there was. Now that I think about it, that would be pretty great. That'd be sick. It's probably a good idea for me to build these walls as well, really. But I'm not going to do it. Where are all my builders? I really want to just assign everyone to be a builder now because it's taken ages. I can assign all the carpenters to be builders, actually. Yeah, I'll do that instead. Yeah, they're, they're swimming around. Um, that's not what I really want them to do. Because they could get caught in the uh, the crossfire of the universe. And, you know, when I say crossfire the universe, I mean crossfire the universe. There will be a catastrophic event involving a crossfire. Oh, that's a game, isn't it? Like a crappy online game that's like, this is the next best thing. That kind of thing, you know. Strategy gaming at its best. Like, that's... <laughs> That's, uh, if I was voice acting, that would be the voice I would use. Um, because obviously, that is the best voice to use. Cotton! Do we have any more cotton? Because I'm pretty sure we are harvesting cotton. We had one cotton before. We have loads of cloth. Uh, raw is what I'm going for. Wool! We have loads of wool, wow. Wool is comprised of... Yeah, yeah, I know where wool comes from. God! Oh my god, I don't think you know, but I know where wool comes from. Sheep! It comes from Shep. Wait, is wool another way to actually make these beds? I bet it is. That would make sense because... Unless I can make... No, 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 because it always requested cotton to make these beds. I'm not too sure what you would use wool for unless you use wool to make cotton. That'd be interesting, actually. Is that what... Does that work? Cotton. No. No wool. Okay, maybe not. Um, what about crafting? Can we make anything with that? Leather. That's just animal hide. Cloth. Lax fiber. Cotton. Wool. Oh, yeah. You make uh, cloth with wool. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. I already knew that, but I thought maybe the bed, if I can find it. Uh, 12 cotton. So, it just... Uh, sleeping in a bed... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is a good quality bed. This is the lowest quality bed. This is a, the worst bed, even though it's a chair. Well, that's why it's the worst bed. Yeah, we just need 12 cotton per bed. So expensive. It'll be easier once we actually get the cotton harvested. Uh, well, we actually have the cotton... Uh, harvested uh, take place. Uh, let's get the farm done. And so wait, we have 22 cotton seeds. So cotton's got to be being harvested. It's just that we're getting more seeds than we are actual cotton. Is that what's happening right now? See, look, he's got more seeds than he does food. Like what? It doesn't make sense. Why do you do this to me, game? He doesn't have any cotton seeds though. This herd is not doing anything. I kind of want him to be like something else. Herding chickens is pretty great, but eventually it's just, just... We need the extra hand to get like the work done quicker. Um, speaking of the work getting done quicker, we're running out of stone very quickly. Very quickly. We need to um, get 100 more stone right there. We have cobblestone, so I'm actually going to start planting that down. There we go, because cobblestone is the road. And it is uh, free wide, I believe, because the doors are free wide, so it makes sense. There we are. And that bit will be uh, what's get, uh, what will get done there. Uh, now, where is everyone? Are they all sleeping? Everyone is sleeping. <laughs> Great. Everyone is, in fact, sleeping. What we could do is make some of the rubbish beds so that people don't have to keep going to crap bed. Crap bed. It's crap in bed. Uh, apparently, we have 866 wheat. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I, in fact, did not know that. Uh, we have the resources to do so. So if we make, like, a bunch of straw beds, it's better than the floor. It has to be. Um, so I feel like for now, like, cotton, we need so much more cotton. So pretty much we may as well make these straw beds. And we won't have too many of them, really. But I feel like that's a good amount. Now, we will use up quite a lot of logs, however, which is the bad part about it. 
But oh well, it's better than sleeping here than sleeping outside. There's a chicken. Oh, I know that's the one that's in the pen. That's fine then. Mm. <sighs> yeah, that wood is uh, running out very quickly. Yeah, so now we can go back to being stonemasons. I like what you've done with the place. Um, now we just need to find the carpenters, uh, which are mostly sleeping. Bunch of fishermen. Uh, more carpenters, builders, fishermen, 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 carpenters, carpenters, and farmers. Okay, that's fine. We'll leave that for now. Uh, any enemies nearby? It's getting quite dark now. So we should really expect some sort of resistance. Uh, a matriarch, perhaps. Um, which does literally not scare me at all. In fact, I prefer the matriarch out of anything now. But <laughs> it's weird how the tables turn. There's a chicken there, but it's too far in enemy territory. Oh, here we go. The uh, the skeleton horde has arrived. We will take care of them once they get a little bit closer. But yeah, they, they the, the good part about them is they might possibly take out the goblin if the goblin gets a little bit too larry. I'm not too sure if it will though. Hopes are high. Hopes are very high. Hopes are huge right now. This wall's looking really nice. Well, to a level, to an extent where the wall can look good, nice. Um, yeah, that's probably the best way we can really say that right now. Oh, pretty parrot. There we are. He's very Larry. He's very sort of like meow. That kind of thing. Sorry. Sort of, that kind. Of, Sorry. Sort of, it sounds like I said shut up. Shut up, damn you. That kind of thing. Very scary. Very scary. I'm not just sure how this um how this building, this barracks, is going to look. Uh, I don't. I just want to define it. It needs to be defined very well. It looks like it will be... I want it to be attached. I want it to look like it's attached to the, um, the wall. Uh, so it's got its own crenellations and everything. Uh, but there's also a decent amount of room in there for them to actually get up uh, from a stair into the uh, onto the wall. Or um, have like a second floor for like separate rooms for like really, really good. Like generals. Second room for generals. And then maybe it's a weird balcony kind of thing connected to that. I'm not too sure. Maybe a tower as well needs to be a part of it. That's a weird beacon. I'm not too sure what the range of the arches are or how it works. But I feel like they might be able to shoot from these towers. Fine. But they might have trouble shooting from other towers. I'm not too sure. Uh, right now, though, I've been recording for longer than expected. I'm not going to stop right here because I want to get this barracks done. But the thing is, I'm probably not going to be able to get it done because these guys, they take hours. They take hours. Hours. To get shit done. They really do take a while. And also that's uneven, which is a bit annoying. But oh well. But oh well. We will live by the unevenness. With or without any help. One does not simply do stuff without a hoe. That is correct. I would not do something without a hoe. Let's get a hoe. And hopefully that was not misinterpreted. There we go. Five more hoes. Put them up. There we are. What an unfortunately named... Tool. Um, oh well. Well, I think the tool was named before the uh, sort of uh, other description of it. But oh well. Mm. There's a sheep oh. there. There's some death over there. I think there are a bunch of other wolves that we killed earlier. I'm not too sure. Uh, we need a light source. We need some more lamps as well. Like these lamps are pretty great. If we have these lamps around the entire base, then it will definitely make it look a lot nicer and much easier to see what everyone is up to. Which is sort of. Um, you know, the second benefit, as it were. <clears throat> so, yeah, we still need to build these areas. I'm not too sure why they're sort of taking their time with that. Um, they built the cobblestone road here, though. But they've not built anything else. Uh, well, no, they've, they've built sort of uh, a majority of this wall. We need to actually get the flooring done for it now, I suppose. So, also, we're going to dig a hole there later and uh, put a door there. But for now, we won't need to. Uh, I don't feel worried about it. Also, I feel like digging out the grass inside of it, so it's extra grass. We won't be able to see it anyway, so I won't worry too much about any problems that you may have there. So if we go to build, uh, we should really pause it. But I won't pause it, I'll just have it a bit slower. And then we use the lighter wood, I believe was the uh, conclusion. Oh, let's do that. Let's do that there. There we go. I'm glad it's... Uh, it sort of clips in this uh, fashion. That's really useful. 
uh, yeah, you guys need to make that wall bit there for me to finish this clip. Um, for now, I guess I could do it like that. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do it like that, because that would look weird. And uh, it would probably look weird here as well. So if we just get rid of this and turn it into stone. There we go. All right, and now we continue. We may actually end up using up all of our wood here, which would be quite annoying. <clears throat> yep, it would, would be. Uh, we'll leave that bit for now. Because they still need to make this part, which I feel like I'm probably going to have to probably uh, shingle up, now that I think about it. Um, scaffold up, as it were. Because they're taking their time getting up there. Like, can we do free here? There we go. We're going to have to, because it takes them too long to get from one area to the other. All right, now we are super speed mode it. And we should probably get a few more builders in, but the thing is most of the people are asleep. We got a soldier that's asleep as well. One of them's awake, so I feel pretty safe still.